Any time is a great time for ice cream, and here at Richardson's, our extended family of employees are excited to bring you the smoothest, most delicious premium ice cream you've ever had. Every worker from the farm to the shop are here to bring you the best possible experience. While you're here, we thought you might want to know a little bit about us. The Richardson family has been farming in Middleton since 1690. Our ancestors began as subsistence farmers, raising chickens, cows, and vegetables. But by the early 1900s, the farm had grown considerably, and the Richardsons were bottling and selling milk from their 1,000 cows to local markets. In 1952, Ben and Hazen Richardson started Richardson's Ice Cream with the goal of creating the one perfect ice cream. It was a small place with just a few serving windows, but right from the start, it was a big hit. Since then, each generation has made important contributions to the growth of the farm and ice cream business. Today, the eighth and ninth generations of Richardson are continuing the family tradition, producing the finest milk and ice cream in New England. On their drive to our Middleton farm, visitors will know they are getting close when they see the iconic black and white Holsteins grazing in emerald pastures. Guests are encouraged to enjoy their ice cream in our old-fashioned ice cream parlor or take a walk around back to see a real working farm. Our visitor-friendly grounds are open for all to enjoy. The farm comes to life around 3.30 in the morning each day as the herdsmen arrive to prepare for the day's first milking. And boy, do they have their work cut out for them. With nearly 400 Holsteins in the herd, Richardson's is the largest dairy farm in Essex County. The farm staff takes great pride in the health of our herds. Not only is keeping the herd happy and healthy the right thing to do, it makes good business sense. After all, happy cows make more milk. The portions of our herd you will meet at the farm are newborn calves and recent or expecting mothers. The young families are housed near the milking barns where our herdsmen can keep a watchful eye on them during this vulnerable time. Soon after the calves are born, they are moved to the nursery where they are well cared for. On nice days, families love to bring their children out to the barns to see the baby calves. Sometimes, visitors are lucky enough to come at feeding time and see the calves having their bottles, which they enjoy twice a day. About four quarts of milk daily will keep them very happy and growing fast. At about eight weeks old, the calves are weaned off of milk and moved to the pastures where they can roam freely. Young cows that have not given birth to calves of their own are referred to as heifers. Believe it or not, in 14 short months, these little babies will weigh 800 pounds and be ready to have families of their own. Cows that have recently given birth to a calf roam the pastures around the milking barn, which they visit often for milking. These full-grown cows weigh between 1,100 and 1,800 pounds and eat approximately 110 pounds of food and drink 40 gallons of water each day. Their food consists of a nutrient-rich mixture of corn, silage, hay, and other grains, in addition to vitamin and mineral supplements to support health, bone, and muscle growth. Here at Richardson's, we breed and raise our own cows. Each prospective mother is evaluated by an expert veterinarian who uses 40 different criteria to judge her physical attributes. Then, these traits are matched with potential mates to find the most compatible bull to father her babies. The result, of course, is strong, healthy calves that will eventually produce lots of delicious milk. Our herd needs huge amounts of nutrient-rich food to keep the herd happy so they will produce lots of rich milk and cream, we plant 150 acres of corn and cut 200 acres of alfalfa and grass in the short New England growing season. Our expert farm staff is always raising the bar higher for productivity while being responsible stewards of the land for future generations. After the hay is made and the corn picked, the soil is tested for fertility and pH. And then, winter rye is planted on the cornfields to hold the soil and add organic content. In the spring, the lead farmer and his hardworking team plow and harrow the field to turn rye and corn stalks under. After that, the fields are fertilized and harrowed again to make a smooth seed bed. The final step is the planting of the corn seeds. 
When you add up the corn and alfalfa fields and the pasture lands, Richardson's keeps over 1,000 acres in Danvers, Topsfield, and Middleton open and green. At Richardson's, the cows are milked twice a day. The eager cows enter the milking parlor, single file, and present themselves for milking. What's the proper way to milk a cow? Well, first, you have to wash the teats with a special sanitizing liquid to make sure they are clean. Next, the solution is wiped off with a clean cloth and the milking machine is slid on. Most cows will milk out in five minutes, but some take a little bit longer. Soon after the end of the milk flow, the milking machine automatically releases itself from the cow. The final step in the milking process is to coat each udder in a barrier dip now, the cow has been milked and she is ready to return to the barn. What's the next step? The milk then goes through a filter and into a refrigerated tank where the temperature is dropped to 36 degrees Fahrenheit. A tank truck then takes the milk from the milking parlor to the dairy to be pasteurized and bottled. The pasteurizing process begins by heating the milk to 172 degrees. Then, the milk is cooled down immediately to 36 degrees. After pasteurization, the milk is homogenized so the butter fat doesn't rise to the top. When you come to Richardson's to buy ice cream, you can look through a little window into our bottling plant and watch the final step as the milk passes through the filler into the bottles where it is sealed and dated for freshness. Now it's ready for you to take home. For the past 65 years, Richardson's has grown from a small ice cream shop in Middleton to a large family-owned business, which distributes ice cream throughout eastern New England. Our team of more than 40 dedicated employees work hard to make Richardson's the creamiest, smoothest ice cream around. It's no secret that the finest foods are made with the finest ingredients. Our super premium ice cream is made from a blend of cream, milk, milk powder, sugar, and other natural ingredients. After the cream mixture is pasteurized, it is pumped into refrigerated tanks and from there into a continuous freezer where it is frozen to 21 degrees. Chocolate chips, nuts, fruits, candy bars, and other ingredients are added to the soft mixture to make each of the 80 mouth-watering flavors Richardson's has to offer. The three gallon tubs are assembled and the final mix is then poured into tubs and stored in a blast freezer where the temperature is brought down to a cold negative 25 degrees for storage. For those who can't make the trip to Middleton for ice cream, the ice cream comes to them. Richardson's is served in over 450 ice cream stands and restaurants from Wells, Maine to Canterbury, Connecticut. You might see one of our trucks cruising down the road on its way to your town. But until then, visit our farm in Middleton or our shop in Jordan's Furniture Reading. Each of Jordan's Furniture locations has a unique theme to make your shopping experience a real adventure. In Reading, the theme is Beantown which means Boston to most people. But to Elliot, it also means jelly beans. On entering the store, you will see jelly beans everywhere. The flowers, the pathway, even the infamous green monster. I knew we wanted a fantastic ice cream shop. And so I kept asking, not being from the North Shore, I was asking everybody who's got the best ice cream. It was unbelievable. Every single person I asked said the same thing, Richardson's ice cream. Then found out they have like 300 cows that make their own ice cream and we hit it off right away. Because to me it's more important, not just about the product, but the relationship. And dealing with great people made me feel very comfortable. When you see a gigantic banana split, you know you found us. Order a delicious strawberry sundae with real whipped cream and nuts, or try our newest flavors. Then sit down, relax, and enjoy Jordan's amazing liquid fireworks display. Or hold your breath as you see a daredevil soar through the air on a flying trapeze. From local families and professional dairy farmers, thousands of people visit Richardson's Dairy each year. After enjoying a frap or a hot fudge sundae at one of our picnic tables, have fun playing miniature golf on one of our two challenging courses. Improve your golf swing at the driving range or let the kids wind up and play ball at the batting cages. However, the most fun of all is the petting farm, where you can meet the animals and relax, watching the peaceful life of the goats and cows. The kids will love it, and so will you. Have you tried Richardson's Super Premium yet?
A trip to the farm is sure to become a favorite family tradition. 